our Honorable Prime Minister, Sri Narendra Modi ji, Honorable Union Home Minister, Amit Shah ji, PGB National President, J.P. Nada ji, and National Secretary, P.L. Sandos ji, BJP National President J.B. Nadaji for their unconditional support and guidance. I would also like to thank the Honorable Union Ministers Sonalji, Arjun Mundaji, John Birla Ji, Rajiv Chandrasekharji, the Honorable Chief Minister of Assam, Hemanda Bisosji, National Sports Person and Preparatory Nagalin, Nelen Guliji, Coordinator BJP Northeast, Sambit Batraji, National Secretary and Coordinator Northeast, Retu Rajji, among several others for their tireless efforts to ensure victory of the party. I would also like to place on record the sincere and dedicated works of the state BJP executives and Karikadas, led by the President Imna Alungji, the state legislature, and all those involved in the process. It is a trope. Well done, and I congratulate each and every one of you for your relentless effort Together, we will work again for peace and development and good governance for our state, Nagaland, under the leadership of our Honorable Chief Minister, Sidney P. Ryu. I would like to once again express my heartfelt gratitude to Honorable Prime Minister, Sri Narendra Modi Ji, Honorable Union Home Minister, Mr. Ji, National President, J.B. Nada Ji, Honorable Chief Minister of Assam, Hemandaji, National Secretary Coordination Northeast, Ritu Rajji, Nelen Guliji, for the reports, seeing their faith and confidence in me to be the BLP leader once again. I am also thankful to the Honorable Chief Minister of Nagaland, Sri Nipi Ryu, for entrusting me to serve the Naga people in the capacity of Deputy Chief Minister for the second term under his dynamic leadership, I am quite optimistic and confident that the NDBB BJP alliance will give a stable government as mandated by the people of Nagaland with high expectations. I do express my profound thanks and credit to all the electorate of Nagaland for giving their mandate to the NDBB BJP once again. The Alliance government will strive to fulfill the aspiration of the people to the best way possible during this upcoming tenure to the Naga political front, as has been seen and witnessed that the government of India under the dynamic and visionary leadership of uh, Sri Narendra Modi ji, the Honorable Prime Minister of India, Sri Amit Shah ji, the Honorable Union Home Minister, J.P. Nada ji, the BJP National President, is very sincere and serious in finding a final solution to our Naga political issue. The Nagaland government, under the able leadership of Sri Nipi Ryu, the Honorable Chief Minister of Nagaland, have played a major role as the facilitator with seriousness, and we will continue to play an important role in finding permanent solution sooner than later under the present dispensation. Thank you, Brian.
you have said uh, you will not take any other party in this uh, government, second uh, government of NDPP and BZP Alliance. But we have seen that number of political parties who have uh, elected some of their candidates we have seen like NCP, NPP, including even N NPF, two MLS. They have submitted the letter of support to your, to your government. So what is your comment now on this? Yes, we have received a letter of support from most of the poli political parties, including independents. But we have not discussed for this issue. We are comfortable. We are 37 in the five in DPP and 12 EJP legislators. But since they have submitted for to support this uh, present government, we are going to discuss, yet to discuss. On the issue of the Naga uh, political issue, do you think we will witness another oppositionless government? That I have no comment. Since uh, most of the political parties, are, uh, those uh, MLAs are giving their letter of support to this present government, who knows we may have uh, opposition-less government, but only after our discussion. That is not yet finalized. Yesterday, you have held the first cabinet meeting. Yes. So, what are the major decisions that you have to do? We just introduced each other. After that, we had a one agenda about this uh, municipal election. We discussed this issue. As per the Supreme Court order, we'll have to complete this by the end of May. That's why we discussed this issue. So regarding this, uh, you have won 12 seats out of 20 again. It's the same thing like what we have won last time, 2018. Uh, did you expect that you would be winning more than this? Or how you have come to this? Well, we well, did our sorry best. To add to that question, just yeah. this question only. Uh, like, uh, you have lost many major seats, and many, many of your competent or major portfolio holders have lost the seats. How do you comment on that? Because Including two cabinet ministers? Yeah. yeah, we are really sorry for the members who have lost, but we expected that we'll do better an increase of few seats, but we could not uh, do that. But at least we're not down. We've got 12. Are you likely to retain your position as uh, the Minister for Home Department and PWD? No, I have no comment on that, because it is the prerogative of our Honorable Chief Minister. So it is Within a few days, that this will be solved, but I have no comment on this. That's all I think. Any more? <laughs> so, you said political uh, parties are coming forward to support the government. You mean to say that all the political parties, including the independent candidates, are coming forward? Yeah, yeah, most of the political parties. So but. Don't you think that uh, an opportunity-less government is uh, instrumental to? You have democracy. Pardon? An opposition-less uh, government, don't you think it's harmful for a democracy? That I have no comment, but when the elected members, they want to join with the government outside support, if they want to give outside support, we'll have to discuss, and only after our discussion we will take decision. Otherwise, we're comfortable 37 out of 60. You have to this one uh, cabinet this time. You are getting only five. Last time, you were five, yeah. six cabinets. That because this time, the number of NDPP have increased. Out of 40, they got 25. And our number remains same. So, you know, central leaders also when our honorable CM requested that they have told him to go ahead, it's okay, no, no issue.
How do you feel sharing the seat of the PDCM with another member of the State Assembly? But I have no comment, but for communion of our government, we have, in other states, they have uh, three, four, they would see them also. Like UP, they have three. In other states, they have two, two, in few states. So for the convening of our government, I think that is arranged by our honorable team. Yeah. So one last one, uh, on the rapport legal issue. Uh, it has been for me so, so much, and now again you have come to the power this time also. So how do you feel you perceive the matter? Our, <coughs> our two political parties, government of India and our political group, Nagaland political group, should come to understanding. We are government, we are just a facilitator. But we will continue to pursue this issue. So uh, who is likely to be the important speaker? No, that we have not discussed. I think to the person that will be elected. When is the session likely to be called? No, we have not yet fixed. Not yet. No, not yet. So for the first time two uh, women and, uh, elected members in the assembly, what is your expectation for the moment? No, since uh, it is not that we don't want women in the house, huh? but no woman come forward. Otherwise, even see for this Raja Sabha member, after our statehood, first woman Raja Sabha member from Nagani. So today we are grateful. I congratulate both the women who got elected this time. So I think they will contribute for the betterment of our state. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. 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 Mm. 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 Mm.